the Spanish Inquisition. And it failed hard. <laughs> um, so what happened was uh, there was this big thing uh, in Washington and all the bars opened up early and all the political pundits That's went. Crazy. I know, I know. It, it's normally it's a sports thing. everywhere, everywhere. Yeah, everybody was watching this um, this uh, Spanish Inquisition against Comley, and uh, you know what? I don't think he said anything one way or the other that no, made Trump look good or Trump look bad. I think it was just very middle row, just very, he didn't give an answer. I, I The big thing that he said at one point was, I don't want to answer that in such a public form or something. Yeah, because I, I think there are some classified stuff that... Because there was a closed door meeting as well, yeah. and there's classified stuff. Oh, and he said, "I hope there are tapes." Uh, uh, Lordy, I hope there yeah. are tapes. And and it would actually it would be a huge, huge thing for Trump to release tapes of this uh, oh, conversation. There's no tapes. Trump's a goofball. Now, okay, and that's what came out of it. You know, Fuck. even the Republicans are saying um, Trump isn't a liar. He's just an idiot. You know. Ah, uh, yes. I don't think Trump's smart enough to lie. <laughs> I don't think I don't think he's smart enough to to think of. I just don't. I don't. It, it to me, this whole thing seems like a just whip your dicks out, get the measuring tape, let's do it. <laughs> Whoever has the bigger one wins. I, I I'm starting to agree because you know uh, the Democrats are like, oh, this this will bring Trump down. We'll be able to impeach him after this, and if anything. Comley kind of threw himself under the bus because he did say, "Oh, I leaked a memo," and the mem. Uh, now I thought he said he 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 gave the memo to, to somebody, somebody else. And they to me, yeah, but that's still yeah, him still, leaking yeah. the memo. Now whether or not that's a criminal offense, because we talked about this, uh, I think a couple of weeks ago. You know, uh, these the the leaky pipes episode. You know. Uh, Tree, this is treason, you know, leaking classified information to the press. Yeah. Now, whether or not the memo was considered to be classified information, I don't know. I don't know what Americans classify as classified information. Yeah, who knows what's classified anymore anymore nowadays. Uh, it, it seems like everything's accessible no matter what. Like, no matter what it is, somebody who, should, who shouldn't know about it probably knows about it. Yeah, I... I and, with yeah, our, with our information is, age right now, it's like... That is kind of the way things are working. Now, he, say, he says a whole bunch of things, and he kind of, kind of comes across as a disgruntled employee, which I kind of get. He was fired. I'd be a little pissed off at my boss, too, if I was fired Oh, you for fucking it. probably made enough money. You don't need to worry about it. Probably got a nice severance package. Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If anything, he did get a, a, a severance it, package. It, to me, it doesn't bother me that, that Trump fired him. Trump no. can do that. yeah. You know, they're sitting there looking at it like, oh, this Conley, I worked for two different presidents from both party, either party, so everybody pretty much put him on a, a, squeak, a squeaky clean, like, resume, and yeah. it's, like, it's like, okay, yeah, but Trump went, oh, I don't like you. You know, it doesn't matter why he didn't like you. He just doesn't like you. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't get along with him. It, it, maybe it, he just, you know what, he, this guy rubs me the wrong way. Yeah. And when you're a leader of a, the world, like, the of a country... You need to be able to trust everybody. And, to and Trump is running America more like a, a business than he is like mm -hmm. a country. And when you do that, you don't necessarily want to be surrounded by yes people. Yeah. You don't want to be surrounded by people that rub you the wrong way. Mm -hmm. You're going to go, no, I'm not going to be able to work with him. I'm going to get rid of him. You want people who, 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 who aren't scared to voice their opinions, Yep. but at the same time aren't scared to... Uh, have their opinions ripped apart. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because, um, okay, uh, voicing your own opinions. Uh, you know, one of the things that was mentioned was like, oh, why didn't you talk back to Trump? You know, why didn't you tell him this was wrong? As the FBI director, I know that I have a position of power. Yeah. And talking to the president, if I can't talk to the president, my boss, technically, yeah. I can't talk to him candidly, there isn't a point to me being the FBI director. Yeah, he, he might as well just be the director and tell me to do it yeah it's like a puppet it's because at this point in time when he when trump said oh can you you know can 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 you do this can you speed this along can you make this happen he he should have said okay you actually need to go talk to this guy because that's not yeah that's how not things work apartment. yeah you know there's a certain uh way things are supposed to be ran you don't talk to me directly about that you actually have to, he should have said you got to talk to this person. 
you know, that's the proper channels in which you deal, and yeah. they will talk to me, and we will talk and talk about it. But if you come to me, that actually can be taken in the wrong way. Yeah. So if you don't mind, do that, right? You know, and you, you know that Trump doesn't have experience as a politician, so you should have easily said, this isn't the way it's done, you know? And even if Trump got mad, it'd be like, well, this is the way it's supposed to work. I know you're new to this, yeah. but... Please go talk to him. I'm not. I'm not sitting here like trying to like support Trump because really, honestly, <laughs> this 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 man. Before you can go look at videos. Before I was like, hey, I'm 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 okay with this. Now I'm going, oh boy. Um, you're an idiot, Trump. You're a complete moron. Just the way he talks and the way he carries himself is very. Um, it's very everything is very confrontational. It seems like every time it's it's like it's it's a, it's it's a politician, but it's almost worse than a politician. Well, okay, I find okay in this regards, Trump is somebody. Trump is somebody who's uh, accustomed to saying something and getting results. Yeah. Whereas in politics, you say something and nothing happens, and nothing happens. And so this is him uh, being a businessman going. I Welcome want this to happen, done. and it's not done, and he and he's starting to get mad, yeah. and it does. The press doesn't help. You know, they're picking on him. Oh, they're not, trying to find anything. Oh, they're trying to anything, anybody is trying everything. To find anything. It's like um, uh, uh, a couple of the guys at work were like, "Oh yeah," I'm so, uh, one guy's like, "Oh, I've been waiting two months for this whole thing. It's going to be so good." Another guy's like, "Oh yeah, he's uh, Trump's going to be so no, much shit." Not. And I'm like thinking. Do you, do you really uh, think the FBI director, the former FBI director, is going to come out and put Shoes. it all on the table? No. Put a gun in his mouth and pull the yeah. trigger? Yeah, because he could end up in jail himself. He if knows he admits better, it, yeah. but um, I think everything he said was from... He, everything what he said was the truth. You know, He thinks that uh, Trump isn't a nice man, and it's like, okay, mm-hmm. Trump Great. is an idiot. We all yeah. know this. Trump is a moron. Um, but... Uh, one thing that drove me, uh, just made me think, okay, so he's the leader of the FBI, and then, you know, he starts talking to Trump, and he's starting to go, oh, well, maybe I should take notes, right? You know, record the conversations, yeah. make notes just in case I need to bring something up. It's like, why are do you not have a notebook with everybody you talk to Yeah, about... Uh, in my mind, as a leader of a law organization, because that's what the FBI is, literally, should I be, would, should as soon talking? as I talk to you, I'd pull out a new notebook, go, Barry, open it up, write down this date, like this time. Like cheeseburgers. No, well, this is, what our con- <laughs> yeah. this is what our conversation was about. Yeah. And I would have a little notebook about everybody yeah, You should almost have like one to. of them uh, court people follow you around. <laughs> Just type it everything. Exactly. Almost. Yeah. Um, because you never know when prior conversations are com- going to come up. It's like, yeah. okay, yeah, great. You think the president's going to be a liar, that you might have to... It's like, did prove you it. not think yeah, that George W. Bush was... Uh, or Junior? That he, he wasn't stupid? Why wouldn't you keep notes? It's yeah. like, yeah, you're going to get... Everybody gives Obama a pass, and it's like, um, again... Why wouldn't you keep notes? Yeah. Because you never know. You know, because of because your position, even though it's supposed to be law enforcement and pretty kind of black and white when it comes to law. Uh, it's not, though. It's Everything it's, has a good You have a, a pol- political slant to yeah. it, so you're going to have to play politics at yeah. some point in time. It's, it's just, oh, man, it's just so, it's so hard to watch, you know. I have, I have seen enough coming through on my Facebook, and it's just like... <laughs> Oh my God! And well, everybody like takes little clips of of of, of people talking that Sean Spencer and Donald Trump, and they just kind of they, they they put it to however they want. They put it towards their narrative, and we've talked about this many times. Yeah, everything that's talked about can be taken out of context. You could take anything and clip it and go, okay, this is what they said. And it's like, so this is what I found in most new news agencies was those were lies. Plain and simple. That was the quote plastered everywhere. Yeah, but let's let's look at the the three sentences before that, and the exactly. three sentences after that, and the it context in it. The 
the, here's the context. The administration then chose to defame, defame me, and more importantly, the FBI, by saying that the organization was in disarray, that it was poorly led, and the war, workforce had lost confidence in its leader, calmly testified. Those were lies, plain and simple. See? The context he was saying that is that the administration was lying that, that his, about why he was, why fired. He was fired. Not... And so you take that that little sentence and you put it on your headlines. Yeah. What are people? Going, oh, he's talking about Trump. It's like, well, no. You have to look, and, and that's all about context. Everybody needs to realize that everything in this world, when you read a clip or a quote, you have to go look at the transcript from this quote, where this quote came from, and read the whole paragraph that it's in to really put it into context. Yeah, I, I made sure I took a picture of this this one area because that was what was plastered everywhere. Was uh, they were those were lies, plain and simple. And it's like, wow, you know, even I was like, oh, those are lies. It's like, wow, he dropped a bombshell, yeah. and I started reading, and I'm like, no, he, no didn't. he didn't. Oh my god, it's all about like clickbait. It's it, this world is about likes, follows, clicking uh, nowadays. So you put things to get people to click on it. Mm-hmm. And every every news agency does it. There, it the integrity of news nowadays is is all, virtually almost zero in my eyes. You know what I mean? Because when you hear anything, yeah. when you see anything, you have to go do your own research and, and look at it from five different news agencies or five different sources to get the whole story. Because n- news agency one says you know cheeseburgers should have cheddar and blah blah, and then you go through five different ones and you're like, what? It still makes no sense. Cheeseburgers can have whatever cheese yeah. you want on it. You know, and it's like, I don't know. It's just, so, it, it was, it, it, I was so gleeful. Like, uh, I'm sorry, I was just so full of glee after this whole thing was over. Because, you know, um, uh, the, the one guy at work is like, oh, I've been looking forward to this for two months. And I'm like, yeah, so am I. I want this over and done yeah. with. You've been right? looking forward to the disappointment, have you? Or are you yeah, ready well, to no, be disappointed? I started reading about some of the stuff that was going on, right? And then I walked up to the guy, and it's like, okay, I think we're both going to be disappointed by this whole thing. It's like, what do you mean? It's not over yet. No, it's over. It's done. They have the transcripts and everything. I've read most of them. And he's like, oh. And it's like, I don't want to cloud your judgment. I want you to go home. I want you to watch the news. And then we talk about it tomorrow morning. And then we talked about it tomorrow morning. He's like, yeah, it was disappointing. Um <laughs> Well, yeah. I, and I, it's like just I said, like, I don't know what people were expecting. Yeah. They're not... They're, you know, uh, we're, we're going to hear we're going to hear about it in twenty years, and we're going to find out more than we have, we're going to know. Yeah, today. When, when when they de- declassify yeah. stuff, and even after they declassify stuff, it's just going to come down to, you know, uh, uh, maybe Trump shouldn't have said uh, Russia, Russia, rah 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 yeah. type thing. But you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's not going to mean anything. Nope. Um, Trump's not going to end up in jail. No. He's Trump's not going to get impeached. impeached. Nothing. Nothing's going to happen. He's going to run out his four years. And who knows what will happen after it. Most likely, I'm thinking that he won't get reelected. Uh, That's I, my I, guess. I, I'm thinking he's going to... I don't yeah. even know if he'll run again. I know no, he's that, that's, he what, that's what I'm going to say. Is like He will probably, after his four years, go, no, I'm too old for this. Let's see. Today is uh, June 10th of 2017. We are not even one year into Donald Trump's uh, reign of President of the United States. Here you've heard it first. Cool discussions. Mark this date. Time stamp the video. Donald Trump will not run for a second term for President of the United States after his four years is up. Uh, for various reasons, I'm thinking. Uh, one, obviously being too old. Yeah. And two, I think, he'll, yeah, I think two, he'll just get frustrated and be like... Yeah, like... I thought politics would have been easier... <laughs> Well, he, he, he did actually say something, and he said, this is harder than I thought yeah. it was going to be. So I think he's going to be like, this is too too much for me, and uh, I think that'll that'll end. Um, because we all know that business and politics are really two different yes. entities, mm-hmm. and business is so much easier. Being a good businessman does not translate into a good politician and vice versa. So, yeah. There you go. You heard it here first. There you Look go. Look at that. <laughs> so hopefully this will finally mean that he can start. Can we just move on? Being can we president. Just fucking move on already. Let's yeah, let it go. Let it done. Go. No more. Just we're done. Okay, guys. Yeah. Let's 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 not find any witches. Can we go find like I don't know the the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? Mm-hmm. That's what we're going for. Yeah. We are now on a quest for the pot of gold, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, 
and we'll go on the journey to the pot of gold together. There we go. Rainbows. Unicorns. Woo! Rainbows and unicorns. <laughs> <laughs>